Three Top Twins Adventures: The Twins Take on T Rex by Cressida Cowell. Long, long ago, the sun shone down on the wild, wonderful world, and the volcanic swamps bubbled and steamed. The Tree Top Family, the first ever to invent a time machine, have traveled back to the land of the dinosaurs. Professor Penelope and Professor Pablo were in the tree house, and the big twins, Alfie and Asha, were looking after the little twins, Tulip and Ted. Everyone was happy. Everyone was quiet. Until Ted noticed a sweet little baby dinosaur watching them nearby. Oh look! Whispered Ted, "The baby dinosaur wants us to come and play with it." So the tree top twins followed the baby dinosaur out into the swamplands. They had a lovely time playing with the baby dinosaur, who was very good at hide and seek, and always found them. However cleverly they hid, this smart little dinosaur would make a wonderful pet. Said Tulip, until stomp, 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 there was a crashing noise from the horizon. That looks like a very large dinosaur," said Asha, looking into the distance. "Don't worry," said Alfie. "It'll never spot us from that far away." But there was a distant noise, and the very large dinosaur came charging towards them. How interesting! That very large dinosaur has vision that is thirteen times better than the average human," said Asha excitedly. She had just read this in her book. That's fascinating," said Alfie. "But I think we should run away." The tree top twins picked up the baby dinosaur and ran away as fast as they could. "Don't worry," said Alfie. "I know loads of great places to hide." The tree top twins and the baby dinosaur waded into a mud pool and hid in an old tree stump. As stomp, stomp, stomp. The very large dinosaur crashed around on the edge of the swamp. "Wow, it's even larger than I thought it was," whispered Asha, eagerly. "It must be twelve meters long, the length of four cars." "Don't worry," said Alfie. "Very large dinosaurs are often herbivores, so they only eat things like lettuce." The very large dinosaur opened its mouth. It was munching a. Triceratops bone. It's a carnivore," said Ted. The dinosaur let out a roar that sent shivers down the children's spines. They were now a little frightened. "Don't worry," whispered Alfie. "I think we're safe in this swamp because very large dinosaurs don't like getting their feet wet." But Alfie hadn't been right about anything so far. And then Asha noticed something. She opened her book. "Uh oh." Said Asha, terrifying meat eater, twelve meters long, twenty-three centimeter long teeth, eyesight thirteen times as good as a human's. I know that dinosaur is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus, sorry, it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Paolo, Tyrannosaurus Rex. They were in big trouble. Whatever could they do? But then Tulip and Ted noticed something too. I think that the big Tyrannosaurus Rex may be this baby dinosaur's mummy," said Ted. The big dinosaur and the little dinosaur did look ra- rather similar. "Oh oh," said Tulip. "If the big Tyrannosaurus Rex is anything like her baby, she'll be good, very good at hide and seek, and she won't mind getting her feet wet." Sure enough, stomp. Squelch, stomp, squelch! The big Tyrannosaurus Rex was coming into the swamp to get them, but just in time, Alfie had a wonderful idea. He let go of the baby dinosaur, and it rushed out from behind the tree stump. And the mummy Tyrannosaurus Rex gave a happy snorting noise as soon as she saw it. And if she hadn't had teeny tiny arms, she would have given her. Baby, a big, happy, muddy, squelchy hug, and then both dinosaurs went stomp, squelch, stomp, squelch, out of the swamp and over the horizon and away. Goodbye, baby dinosaur," said Tulip sadly. "They'd never have let us keep it," said Ted. 
Thank goodness we were reading those books about dinosaurs, or we'd never have known what to do," said Asha. And they all played together until it was time for supper. I made lots of interesting discoveries about dinosaurs today," said Professor Penelope Treetop, helping the children to some delicious lettuce stew. So did we," said the Treetop twins. "Tyrannosaurus Rex can be twelve meters long," said Alfie. They are meat eaters with really big teeth," said Ted, "and they have vision thirteen times better than the average human," said Asha. "You have found out a lot," said Professor Pavlo. "What about you, Tulip? What did you discover about Tyrannosaurus Rex?" "They are very good at hide and seek," said Tulip, "and they don't mind getting their feet wet." Professor Pavlo and Professor Penelope looked at little. Look a little surprised, really," said Professor Pablo. "Well, I never knew that. Nighttime, long ago, in the time of the dinosaurs, the sky was sprinkled with stars. The volcanic swamps grumbled and steamed. All the treetop family were fast asleep. Well, nearly all. They were sixty-six million years away from home, but the moon always looked the same." Even Tyrannosaurus Rex really loved their babies," yawned Tulip dreamily. "Do you think if we found another one, they'd ever let us keep it? No chance," said Ted, and they both fell asleep. Real facts about dinosaurs: Tyrannosaurus Rex. They could be twelve meters long, the length of four cars. They were terrifying meat eaters. They had telescope vision. They had teeny tiny arms. Their teeth could be twenty-three centimeters long. The treetop family has built a time machine to go back in time to study the age of the dinosaurs, share with them in their adventures of a lifetime.